Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this yellow inspired look from one of my favorite YouTubers, Bailey Sarian. Really, I only use the yellows because she inspired me with the color. Um, I can't recreate anything that she did. So I just got this palette over the weekend and it is the Subculture by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So what do I think about it? Um, I've only had, I've only used this palette once and check out this um, craziness. So this palette has a shit ton of fallout. Like you don't even want to put your brush and kind of swirl. Mm -mm. No, you don't want to do that. You do not want to do that. You can look right here and see, and I'll just pick up a new color. So the moment you touch it, check that out. All I did was touch it. And this palette has crazy fallout. Now I did remember that from the Mario palette because when I first used the Mario palette, I didn't realize that the fallout was so intense. And so when I put it on my eyes, my eyes would not stop watering. In fact, I thought I was allergic to the palette because it was over the top. I couldn't stop my eyes from watering. And what I realized after I used tried to use it a second time, I put it down for a few months, picked it back up, was that it just had an amazing amount of fallout. So does this one. So don't put your brush in and do anything. All you really need to do is tap it. And then as you'll see, it just pulls. I mean, the palette almost just kind of falls apart with color. So as I was tapping my brush, you could see how dirty this has already become. And that's just kind of, you know, a bummer. But I do like the packaging. The packaging is pretty. It's got that velvety type cover that the um, modern renaissance had. The blue you would think would hide the fallout a little bit better. It doesn't. Um, the colors in here are amazing. So I used cube on the inner corner. I used um, edge for the yellow and then I put some electric over the top. I also used some mercury, some fudge, and some Roxy to create this eye look. I just, the downside to this palette is the enormous amount of fallout that just absolutely sucks because the palette is absolutely beautiful. You just have to be careful. Because it has that kind of fallout, I would actually be concerned about taking this with me. And even though I, when I travel and I get on a plane, I carry all my makeup in a carry-on so no one touches it, I still would be afraid that this would break apart just because it's so soft. And yeah, that, that's kind of a bummer for me because I like taking palettes with me as I travel to do different eye looks. This one I'm not comfortable with um, traveling. And that could explain why when the box came, it was like wrapped better than I've ever seen any palette wrapped. I don't know, maybe it's because they know that it's a little, it, it's just a little rough when you, when you go to use it, it just kind of falls apart. But other than that, I mean, the colors are highly pigmented. I mean, when I went to use the color Mercury, I thought mercury looks pretty light overall in the palette and so when I went to sweep it on my eye the first time I was like oh it's got pigment so it's really got pigment so again you only have to barely touch your brush to the the eye palettes or the colors and you're gonna get a hell of a payoff it's I mean again the colors are absolutely stunning so I do look forward to creating more looks with this palette it's just one that is a dirty hot mess when you go to use it so just know that up front and your palette's not going to be pretty very long so know that up front other than that i mean i really do like the pigmentation i like how they blend it was a fun palette to use so i'm kind of 50 50. i don't know that i necessarily repurchase this because of the fallout and the craziness but i'm gonna have a great time using it now that i've got it so if you want to see how I got this kind of yellowish gold look in five, four, three, two, one, poof, here we go. All right, so we're going to get started on this eye look over here to make it match this eye over here. 
Now the subculture palette has a light color in it, but it is more of a shimmer and I like to start with just as white of a base as possible. So we're going to go in with the Tarte palette here and this is Solstice. Now that we're done with Solstice, we're going to pick up Mercury. I don't know if you can tell, maybe a little bit, um, these palettes have a ton of fallout. So if you've got sensitive eyes like me, you got to be really careful with this palette. So basically all I've done with this brush is barely push it in and look at how more fallout comes. And then, I mean, this palette has a ton of fallout. That's what I had trouble with the Mario palette because I actually thought I was allergic to it. It just had so much fallout on it that it would get in my eyes and my eyes would go crazy watery, not fun. So going into this palette, I'm being very, very careful because they are super pigmented, but they've got an enormous amount of fallout. And I, I'm not sure why her palettes do that. I'm not sure if her regular individual can't even speak. I don't know if her individual eye, eyeshadows do that, but that is the downside to these palettes. Except the modern renaissance didn't seem to have that much. Okay, now that we're done with mercury, check that out. That is stupid crazy. The next color we're going to pick up is fudge. Again, I'm barely touching it because it's going to go everywhere. I'm going to pick up a bit of this color Roxy. It's crazy. I know I got to stop talking about all the damn fallout. I'm just going to smooth that right over the edge of the brown. Now I'm going to semi carve out a cut crease using my painterly paint pot. Once I have that semi carved out, we're going to go in with the color Edge. And then to brighten up the color Edge, we are going to use some Electric. See, this is why I don't like the fallout. It's getting in the other color and that... I don't like that. I just don't like that. Okay, I'm going to pick up this little round brush here with the color Cube. And it actually looks white here, but when you put it on, it has almost like a peach look or a pinky look to it. Next, I'm going to pick up my NYX Vivid Brights. This is in... that's yellow. This is called Vivid Halo. Let that set a moment. And while that's taking a moment to dry, I'm going to go in again with the color Edge. I'm going to be very, very careful. On the inner waterline, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs, and this color is in Brownie, just to color the waterline. Okay, the yellow should be dry by now. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. and this is in an expert liquid liner and I'm just going to go along where my false eyelashes are going to be so that the band doesn't stick out. And I did go over the Vivid Bright a little too much so we're going to pick back up the Vivid Bright and the yellow and we can fix whatever we may have gone over with that black. All right, we're gonna prep the eye with a little bit of false glue, eyelash glue, and I do put this on a bit of my eye, and that is because the false lashes are gonna, I'm gonna have them on for a long period of time today, so I need them to stay. While the glue is setting on my false eyelashes, and my upper eyelid to make it tacky so both sides will stick. 
I'm just going to put on some water resistant scuba mascara by the balm. Okay, so now we're going to apply these are Salon Perfect Go Glam. I got those from Walmart. I hate going into Walmart, so I did order those online and had them delivered to my door. We're going to wait for those to set up a moment and then we'll add a little bit of mascara and then we're kind of done with this look. So while those are setting up, some of the other colors that I've used on my face is I use the foundation from Natasha Denona. I really love that foundation. Let's see, for lips today, I used Kylie Jenner in the color Naked. For bronzer, I used Pure Mineral Glow, the bronzing powder. For blush, I used Dallas, and this is from Benefit. Oh, and powder today on my face, I used the Stay Matte. For primer, I went ahead and used the Scandinavia Makeup Primer. And then for finishing, I have used the Finishing Spray, which I did that before I did my eyes. So we'll just do it again, and hopefully this will set. Okay, so if the eye glue is set, we are going to use the Marc Jacobs, and the writing is too small. This is just the color Noir, or Velvet Noir. I really like this Marc Jacobs mascara a lot. I just hate the price. Okay, so basically I've put on a little bit of mascara to help the my lashes stick to the false ones and then that'll help stick throughout the day and this completes the yellow eye look i will have to say um, one of my favorite youtubers bailey sarian probably just butchered, butchered your name i she did a yellow eye look not too long ago and i've been dying to find some yellows that i could try to play with because she inspired me so I'm going to put her link below and then that way you can see what she did with yellow. I did not try to recreate her eye because, well, I just can't do anything as good as she does. So anyways, I want you to see that what inspired me to use yellows, even if my eyes uh, did, did not look like what hers did. I'm going to go do my hair and then I'll see you in a second. Thank you so much for watching my video today using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. Alright, that was really cheesy. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed putting this yellow look together. Thanks to uh, Miss Bailey Sarian for inspiring me to use yellows and then this palette came out so it just was a win-win. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.